so it hurt. Soul Fire Drake, fucking bitch. Ah! Alright, welcome back guys, my name is D, and today we're gonna play some Eternal. So the season just ended yesterday. Today is the May 1st, as of this recording. And we actually uh, are gonna get our reward, season rewards. So fortunately last season we didn't really do good in draft. I believe we were stuck on silver. Um, I didn't really have time to like grind it in draft, but yeah, it's one rank down from our usual gold rank. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get a premium plague, um, two packs, and a premium armor smith. Okay, pretty good. I like this card. Could probably use it. And of course, we're gonna get our ranked stuff. Okay, we get a legendary Midnight Gale premium. Nah, it's okay. We're gonna get packs, of course. All right, we get our new quest: win versus battles um, with a time deck. I'm never gonna play time, dude. Let's reroll that. Okay, that we can get that. All right, so right now let's open the packs. It's been a long time since we did a pack opening. Let's open these five packs. Oh, we got a legendary dude. Please be premium. All right, Snow Crush Animist. Um, I believe we have two of these already. That's good. No premium. Give me another legendary. Nah. All right. Cause right now I pretty much have all the cards. I'm just uh, I just want to complete the premium um, sets. So we're shooting for premiums right now, but legend legendaries are fine too, I guess. Okay. Okay. Friendly Tyrant. Good card. And what? No premiums at all. Alright. So let's destroy the extras. Puts us up at 4.974. As you can see, <laughs> the five losses, right? I was trying like really uh, weird decks towards the end of the season so that explains that so yeah like i mentioned um collect progress towards collecting four of each card uh, place set uh what empty throne place set so i need five percent what what does place at 95 mean? And then 63%. Okay, I guess that I need 5% more, so that could possibly just be the legendary cards. And these are the premiums, so we're kind of far from there. But anyways, um, no updates, patch updates. Um, just want to go over the deck real quick. So I made a few more changes again. Because I uh, was kind of getting like triggered by um, some other decks that I'm going up against. So pretty much same stuff. I dropped one Star Steel Day Show, added uh, one more Soulfire Drake, and added one more Emerald Monument. Yep, those are pretty much the changes I made. So I dropped the one di diplomatic seal too. But yeah, so this deck runs 17 units, 7 attachments, 26 spells, and 25 power. So let's jump right in. Let's do two matches. We should be good. Right, we're starting from s gold 2, 3. I don't remember what to rank. Yeah, we're starting gold three. So we should be fine here. So this draw is pretty good. We have good turn two, turn three plays. 
Plus, they go first. We have removal, so we can play this into Torch if he drops any threats that we want to eliminate. Alright, Franken's Mighty Duck. Okay, I'm gonna Time ask Comrade. So we're gonna torch that just to remove his uh, uh, influence, well, power, basically. And then we'll drop Crown Watch. Third turn, drop Spire Chaplain. By turn three, he might have an ambush. Okay, I'm assuming he has ambush right now. Which could be good. I want him to ambush the Sword of Ikaria though. Not. Okay, yeah, here it comes. Okay, bad move on his part unless he can actually kill this. Probably gonna attack. Yeah, it's gonna attack. Okay. Leaves him open, which is fine. He might have another ambush here. If he does, okay. it's fine. At least we get those out of the ri out of the Thank way real quick. Plus, we get one more cry. Two actually. So we're up to war cries, and then next turn we drop an enforcer or a spire chaplain. Let's drop the Chaplain since he's not playing anything. Next turn he'll probably drop Sandstorm Titan. Ooh, he doesn't have anything. Let's get our one sigil right here. It's gonna, probably gonna be a Wasp or something, okay? Doesn't want to play. So he's stuck on uh, power. We can be a little bit aggressive here. Um, Kind of scared for this to get silenced. But gives us good damage next turn. Might get vanquished too. Yeah, let's bring out the vanquish so that he can't play anything else. And then we get um, one more sigil because if he plays vanquish, he's, he can only. Yeah, all right. I don't think he draw a sigil. Yep. We're good boys. Okay. Um, let's drop the Enforcer since he's not playing anything. I can put the Gem Blade on him. Okay. Alright. So we can do a couple of things here. Can put this on him. He's not gonna block with that. We deal nine damage, and it just brings us closer to Ikaria. Okay, play this. And if we draw a fire sigil next turn, we should be good. Yeah, another vanquish. He's gonna attack for three. Okay, he might have Sandstorm Titan here. So, I'm gonna play Spire Chaplain. Alright. And if he doesn't have Sandstorm Titan, it's GG. Which would you like? Okay. Puts a flying on the board, doesn't really matter. So we do four, five, six, seven. Exactly. Lethal. Alright, GG. Right. That's one game out of the way. Okay, yeah, it gives us gold to the draft league. Okay, it shows actually both leagues that you're in. Nice change right there. Alright.
I like the new card that I added, uh, Spire Chaplain, that 3-3 three, three, uh, three drop that gets you another Adjusted Sigil. It's good tempo, plus it's also like Torch Bait aside from your uh, Sword of Ficarias and your Valk Reinforcers. So it's good. Right, so with this hand, we're gonna turn to Crown Watch into Valkyrie Enforcer. I don't really know what this guy has, of course. Okay. Whew, I thought it was a Oni Ronin. I don't really like going up against aggro decks. So, because I actually remove Oni Ronin from my, from my deck just for the better mid game to late game. But yeah, all right. So that's kind of gonna be an issue. Is it? I don't think he's gonna attack into me though. We can actually inspire here. Might have a torch. We can bait out one power next turn. But he's gonna do. But he's gonna do like. Hmm. I guess the best play here is just to um, inspire. You don't really have to put it down yet. Alright, we get a 5-5 five, five Spire Chaplain, so definitely right move right there. Okay, I'm gonna attack for 3. If he does, I can attack for a War Cry and 2 damage. So, from this hesitance, um, assuming he doesn't have anything else. All right, Simple drops another one of these things. noobs. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go towards um, harsh roll. I'm kind of scared about death strike. Um, But I want to keep these two in so that he takes two damage each death. But I think that's high risk. So let's silence one of them. And then block next turn. You can probably torch right here. Okay, so I'm quarry. fine with that trade. We both take one damage. Alright, so he doesn't have a uh, death strike. Which one was played first? I don't think he has death strike. So let's put down the stronger uh, Spire Chaplain. If he does have death strike, now's the time to use it. Okay, so he plays that. Alright, so we can actually attack into that. But do we want to silence though? By silencing it gives us flying advantage, uh, another Valkyrie Enforcer to block with next turn. And he's forced to block with both. So let's do it. Silence that. You can probably get a war cry just to keep this alive. Yeah, let's do it. Best scenario is he blocks this. It dies, but it keeps our 5 5 alive. Okay. Oh, he doesn't block with it. Alright. Soulfire Drake, fucking bitch. Ah! Oh, fucking got Soulfire Drake from me. Ah, it's annoying, dude. It's 
Let's kill that 3-5 so that we can actually break through. That soul fire drake's gonna be annoying, but we can actually kill it with Arc Ruin Hammer next round. Too bad we don't have any more silences. Okay, he's tapped out. We can actually torch it if you want. Um, can probably bait a couple of rapid shots here, maybe. But uh, nah, he's not gonna use it. We can block the entomb right here. I don't know if he gains life though. That's the thing. Let's attack for three. Best scenario is he blocks. We can do this. Okay, so he still gains the the life, but we can do that. We have a vanquish for anything big he puts down. Hopefully he does have something so that we can vanquish, kill it. Perfect. This is the perfect play right here. So vanquish. Attack for three. Hit for four. And we can definitely end next turn. So we have two threats for him, well three basically including the weapon but I'm assuming he's gonna put something down this turn. Okay, takes his own life. Alright, <laughs> that works too. GG man. Alright, we get a couple of rewards too. We finish two quests. Alright. Upgrade. Okay, good start. Okay, let's do this and yeah, let's open this pack real quick. See what we get. No premiums, just normal stuff. All right, so yeah, that's the end of the episode, guys. If you want the deck list. Is right here I'll probably show it after every episode so yeah check it out um, yeah hopefully you like the content guys if you have any suggestions on how to make this uh, deck better I'm all ears let me know in the comment section below um, like subscribe and yeah see you guys in the next one bye